stopped doing damage to you. And now it's just a wiggly tree, and so you, it draws your attention to it. For more fun facts like this, see the internet. Or I guess hang around, I might have more fun facts. Uh, they also uh, move. Like this one's pretty far away from where it's supposed to be. That other one, I don't remember what triggers it, but if if there's something you can do that will make it move kind of out of the way, like this one is moved out of the way a little bit. And I assume they do it to uh, call even more attention to the, the hidden path. So that you... I think there's a there's a trigger point where they just assume all right this guy ain't finding it let's shift the tree a little bit further out of the way and make sure he gets it um, there is some blossoms and there's another there's one of them guardians lying there so if you want to fight guardian you can if you want if you really love blossoms I think that's all that's over there uh, when you go over there those weird flappy frog things jump out of the water Oh, fuck it. We'll just do it. All right, man. Oh, I didn't... When did you guys start coming up? When you aggro this guy. That's no fair. All right. I done fucked up. Because I thought that aggroing him did not aggro the frogs. Or frog-like things. So that was my mistake, because clearly it does. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. See, I usually don't fucks with this shit. Alright, be faster than the giant stone thing, please. We're okay again. Yep, that's fine. Ugh, goodness. Also, if you're running out of Estus flasks and you have a bunch of humanity to hand, um, you can use those to heal. Because I haven't wanted to rest at a bonfire and I keep messing up real bad. Are there even more that jump out? Or is it just this guy? Did they all just jump out? I could have sworn those other guys didn't jump out until you came over here. Hey, you guys drop green blossoms. What do you have? Just a soul item. See, not worth it. You can get more souls by doing one loop of forest hunter shenanigans than, than, it, than picking up that soul item. And there's another knight up this way that is fine if you want to fight in these in these tight little corridors. Usually what you done do is you, you just grab this and then you just like peace out, you know? And you just leave him. You just leave him to his to his own devices and you call it a day. That's everything I want to do in the garden for now. Uh, I'll come back. I have to come back because I have to get a ring from from the wolf. The wolf boss. The sad wolf boss. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> I still haven't killed this guy yet. Do I want to just... How much damage do I do to you? No, I don't care. So the reason to kill those guys, they drop a demon titanite, which is used to upgrade boss weapons in this game. Yeah, ain't, ain't worth it. Did I finish? Yeah, okay. I also, since I, I farmed a bunch of souls helping people kill gargoyles, I went ahead and finished upgrading the sword. I really want to get to 30 faith 
so that I can uh, equip a Great Lightning Spear. So we're done leveling Faith. We have completed the Faith portion of our Faith Strength build, which is what I deem the Paladin in this game. Feel free to, to do whatever you feel like, but I just want uh, Great Lightning Spear and I want Sunlight Blade. And that's all I want. That's all I want to be to be considered a paladin. And I've done that. They're the best spells. Everyone knows that. You know that. I know that. Look at that. Parry. I'm bad at parrying. Every every successful parry is a success. See? Bad at it. It was the same attack that I parried just a second ago. I'm so bad at it. Just the worst. What did I say I was going to do? Oh, yes. We're going to do Undead Asylum Foist. And then... Oh! I haven't um, upgraded my flask. Which I should have done hours. Hours and hours ago. Hours of game time ago, I should say. Days and days ago in real world time. And I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. Oh, somebody rang the bell. You never give up, do you? No, don't stop now. Only one more. But it... <laughs> Thanks, man. You're a real motivational guy. And I appreciate that about you. Yeah. Alright. So I done, I done did that. So I went ahead and killed gargoyles, right? I, that was a thing that I chose to do uh, already. That's the first like major boss in the game. It's the first step in progressing through the story. You ring that bell, and then you go down to Blight Town. You ring the second bell, and it opens up Sen's Fortress, which allows you to progress to Anor Londo, which once you get the Lord Vessel, then you discover that you have to kill all the lords, right? That's the whole, that's the whole kit and caboodle, right? It's the first major boss plot point of the game is to kill the gargoyles if you're doing it in the order the game would like you to do there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do without even touching the gargoyles so like what i'm doing now i can do without getting the gargoyles um, all of the weapon upgrading i could do without getting the gargoyles and um, I want you thing. And you can go into the lower undead burg. You can start going into the little the sewer area. You can get the ember to be able to upgrade your weapons to beyond plus five. You can go down into Blight Town and deal with all that stuff if you're willing to uh, can you can you access new londo without the master key so if you have the master key you can in fact get the other ember that lets you go up to plus 15 even um, without without even killing the gargoyles you could have completely upgraded stuff without ever killing the gargoyles and it's pretty it's pretty entertaining all right so last time I came here it didn't go well um, I've I've grown in power since then but um, what that means is I can kill these guys easier I haven't really grown in defense much other than general leveling because I haven't put any points in my general defense aspects I have better armor but that's about it 
So they're still kind of dangerous, but when you can kill them in one hit, they're less dangerous. Uh, what up, fellas? So what's new here is a couple of things. One, there's there's new hollows and they're stronger hollows. They're bigger, stronger, faster than they were before. This floor will cave in, leading to that that asylum demon that we saw through the gate at the very beginning of the game, the one that was stomp stomping in around down below. And also, our poor dear friend. Oh, I didn't I didn't open it when I was here before. God, I'm the worst. All right. Fine then. Is uh has gone has gone hollow. And um there's also a couple of black knights here. And if you recall, I'm bad at parrying, which is the way most people take out black knights. So they would just come down here and be like, oh, black knights, black knights ain't shit. I just parry them for days, wonk, wonk and they deal with it because we're in this tight little corridor. And it's a little harder to do the backstab fishing in the tight corridor, as you can see. I, uh, I don't. But... Bullshit. You're a cheater. Yeah, alright. If that wasn't a backstab, though. So when they're in these weird lungy attacks, their their backstab window is a little askew. Really? None of you gonna give me your shield? You're all greedy, insubordinate, churlish. So, if anything that you can learn from my not stellar play of Dark Souls is that uh, you don't have to be good at parrying to, be, to play this game. You, you look like a scrub, like I do, but you can do it. That's not even particularly difficult. It mostly just re requires patience. I apologize for anyone who's like, why do you just spin the camera around all? One, I, um, I get distracted, but two, I also like uh, I also like checking out things at different angles, seeing if there's anything interesting to reveal. You know, I have flasks again now. Yeah, cool. So if you step kind of in the middle of that room or go to go to read that message again, it will cave in, and you'll fight an asylum demon. Uh, if you're good at fighting said asylum demons, it's a great way to get the souls you need to buy the Crest of Astora. Uh, if you're not good at it, I recommend waiting until you have even better weapons. I've done it with very low stuff before, but it's like a, like a process that I don't want to do. Uh, but I do want to just go ahead and deal with this knight. Because I want to uh, deal with our old elite knight friend. And he's this way since I didn't unlock the door. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered with this guy right now. Although, he might give me his shield. And that would be cool. Because there are spots where that shield is handy. The black knight shield is, is heavy. But um, is one of the better shields in the game. Not one I generally use for my... Paladin-y cosplays, fashion soulsies, but um, one that's good. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me get out of this spot right here. <laughs> 